I was a child, I used to watch old westerns with my grandpa. Uh, he passed when I was young, so ever since he passed, I've just been connected with trains. Well, my mom, when I was in Austin taking pictures of planes, what she did was she gave me her camera, and then I moved to trains. So planes are gone. My birthday every year, my dad and I would ride an Amtrak between San Antonio and Fort Worth and hop on the uh, southbound train after eating lunch, so that was kind of my birthday thing. Uh, Taking pictures of trains really started with me when I was a young kid, and me and my dad would always go out to Alvin, Texas, a nearby town, to take pictures of trains and watch them go by, and as I progressed later on in life, I got my own little tripod, and I got my own little iPad mount for my iPad, then eventually I moved up to a camcorder, and even later on got a DSLR camera. After my grandpa passed, it sort of died, but around the time of middle school, it sparked back up and got me to go out to actually see them. Pretty much grew up at a train museum in San Antonio, always watched trains. Kind of just followed it through with my whole life. As a locomotive engineer, I definitely welcome it. Uh, I've had a few people send me pictures of my trains over the years, and that's always neat to have, but with that safety is very important. So definitely want to make sure to stay away from the tracks or at least the right of way, um, stay a safe distance away. And of course, if you see something, say something, definitely having extra eyes alongside the uh, tracks helps us out a lot. My favorite part of the hobby of watching trains has to be the people you meet along the way and the friends that you make along the way and the friends you hang out with over time. Definitely the meetups, seeing it with all my friends. With friends, it's really enjoyable and it gets your mind off things. There are times between passing trains where you don't really have that much to do, but when you're with friends, it really is makes it the experience ten times more fun because you get to hang around with people that you know are into the same hobby as you, you get to talk about the hobby and you get to really just have a good time together and have a bunch of good laughs. The best part about meetups would be the time spent between trains, just talking, laughing, making tons of inside jokes. You laugh, get terrible shots, suck it up, do it again. My photography has definitely gotten a lot better since I started taking pictures of trains because I've had many years of experience now and I've progressed not just from taking pictures of trains but also taking pictures of like you know everything in general like nature etc. From a cheap point and shoot camera to a basically DSLR I've gotten a good eye. I'm still improving after six seven years of doing this. And now I really am starting to know the difference on how to work different DSLR cameras, how to set up manual settings. For a brief period in my life, probably a year or two, I did have a DSLR camera, but never really was my strong point. So I kind of gave that up early on. So I'm kind of, I guess you could call me a train enjoyer. Social media is definitely a big role of taking pictures of trains because not only can you just put your videos on YouTube and watch it, you people comment, subscribe, and like, but you can also put your pictures on sites like Flickr or Instagram or other sites that are social media related and anything you can really think of. People make friends that way too, and it's really cool that everybody in the train watching community kind of comes together as one and they all interact on the same platform and like each other's pictures and comment on each other's posts. Another good part about the hobby is uh, definitely chasing trains, as in going from crossing to crossing as fast as you can within, you know, reason. Railroad's been very good to me over my career so far. There's a lot of benefits. Uh, I would say pay is definitely one of them. Uh, not too many jobs can make six figures, especially without college degrees or, you know, some form of formal learning. With that, I get to travel the country, see a lot of neat things. Uh, travel by train is a lot different than travel by car. We get to see a lot of unique scenery and places that are almost uh, untouched by humans, except for the train itself. Always wanted to work for the railroad, never wanted to do anything different. So it's always been my dream.